Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soap the Great with another episode. Well, this is a bonus episode of the Building the City series on the Adventure Time multiplayer server, and I am here with none other than Kondrick from the Two Crafty server. How's it Hello. going, Kondrick? Doing all right? Yeah, doing pretty good. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Kondrick has uh, decided to join me for a little redstone tour. We're going to be looking at the various redstone contraptions that me and the fellow server members have been putting together here. So, uh, you excited, Kondrick? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've seen lots of tours, but not many of them touch on redstone, so this should be fun. Yeah, so so we have done some building tours, but uh, very rarely have we touched the redstone. So, um, Kondrick, right here you will find a little care package. And I seem to be lagging. Uh-oh. Oh. You got it? I can't open the chest. You can't open it. What in the world? Uh, oh, that's no me, good. Let me try a quick relog and see if that uh, helps. Let's see. You should be. Are you in creative mode? I am not. Okay. I have speed two, but uh, yeah, I can't interact with the chest. Okay, well, I'll just chuck this stuff out to you. Just to be sure, let's see, we'll get you some food, ender pearls. I don't All know right. if you'll need that, that, that. Um, I don't know, just in case. Alright. And just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, I think, well, we'll get you some blocks on the bar too. Alright, that works. Alright, cool. so, um, for... Those of you on Kondrick's channel, we are here at Spawn, and uh, Kondrick just popped in here. And right here is our iron farm, and this is the interface to it. We're not so concerned about that. You just hit that lever right over there, and ah. we'll pop through that Jeb door, and we'll, we'll go down to the lower level, because that's where most of the interesting stuff is happening. Cool. So, there's a sorter. Yeah, standard sorting cells, all uh, all spaced out to prevent overflow. That's cool. Yeah, and this is the zip crowd design. Um, it's just I didn't I had enough space. I didn't have to do the piston portions on it. So yeah, I took my took my time there. And then down here, these two cells right here have overflow. Um, not protection, but it's the zombie flesh and the poppies. And I uh, okay. really don't want those building up, so I have have little locks on here, and we can open the things up or just let them go. And uh, right now they are in the, uh, I guess, closed position, so we're full up on the on both uh, both items, and so anything extra is going to pop into this other um, other hopper line here and drop into a little dispenser oh, or dropper okay, I see that yeah a little trash bin and that uh, makes sense that that hopper line also we've got a little trash bin up top so if we ever need to get rid of anything we just chuck some items in that chest and away ah, they go cool so we'll pop up here to the upper portion of the contraption <laughs> and we'll, we'll jump around. That's a good word for it. Um, I like it. So when I put this together, this is actually, it's a combination iron and gold farm. Oh, we've got some item. That stuff's not going to go away for five minutes. That's going to be great. Um, so it's a combination iron and gold farm. There's a bunch of portals up top. And I took that from a guy on Reddit called William Goosen. But he just let the iron golems drop down and kill the zombie pigmen. And then vice versa as well. Um, but uh, I decided to take matters a little more directly. So we got a little piston pusher that suffocates the iron golems based on a uh, tripwire. Oh, I see what... Okay, yeah, and something sitting on yeah. the tripwire, so... Yeah, and... Uh, I wonder if, if we collect that. It should. There we go. 
That's and better. <laughs> nice and loud. Um, oh, I guess man. that uh, I guess that beats the lava design because you never know if the pigmen will end up trying to swim in the lava. Yeah. Now there is the the downside. When I was first putting this together, we didn't have the issue, and then 1.7 came out, or um, 1.7.4 came out, I should say, and you know what they added in that one, right? Um, not actually sure because I kind of didn't bother with it. Ah, uh, that's right, because Forge didn't update. So, um, yeah, it's the zombie pigmen chicken jockeys. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, those were um, those were a nice little surprise. And um, if you check so you these, you had an egg collector. Yeah, if you check <laughs> these these uh, dispensers right here, you see what's in there. Ah, uh, yes. So if an egg comes through, it will go through the first cell on the sorter, give a little pulse, and uh, flick all of these things on, and every block in there will get a little fire charge, and that'll burn the chicken. Nice. Yeah, and it gives a little pulse out the back for um, uh, just, uh, it's in the key of C, so cool. yeah, just just for fun. But yeah, standard uh, standard sorting system, and uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. So let's see, right here beside you, you see our chicken cooker. Yep. It's got issues, but uh, it's don't they all? It's been all right. Um, one of the other guys on the server was playing around with it, and and uh, yeah. Yeah. The, there's no such thing as a perfect chicken cooker. They all have some issues and some loss. I haven't found one yet that doesn't have at least a little bit of loss. Let's see. Down here we've got um, the farm system. That was one of the first things that the guys did on the server. And you just throw that lever. A bunch of water comes out. Fairly standard. Yeah. That washes all down into another sorting system. Over here we've got sugar collector. Excellent. And that's up top, so we can go upstairs and see how that thing works. It's pretty standard. Yeah, standard piston design. Yep. Just ran the redstone and and I've added a couple of things to it. So I was tired of coming over and pushing the button, so I put a dual, <laughs> a dual edge detector on it. Nice. So twice a day, we'll get a pulse. So it's not the most efficient, but it suffices for around here. Yeah, I can see that. That's probably one of the simplest uh, dual edge detectors you can get on a uh, on a daylight sensor. Yeah, yeah so twice a day. Just pops up, pops over. Um, have you seen the mumbo jumbo tree farm? I have, and okay. I really want something like that. Yeah. So but, this uh, is this so is the version expensive here. expensive to make. It it is. Um, it uh, it required this iron farm. That that iron farm has been very very useful. But we got we got this thing, and then the witch farm, which is further up north. Then we got a couple of uh, skeleton grinders, which keeps it loaded. Well, that's good. So if you've seen that one, you've you know, we don't need to go into too yeah, much detail I, there. I don't need explanation on that. Um, yeah. And any viewers that want to see how it works can always go watch Mumbo's tutorial. Yep. All right. Now, uh, the other piece of redstone. Oh, there's a flower farm here. Um. I don't. I did not leave access to that thing. Standard water pulse. Yeah, water and then bone meal. I don't. Yeah, it's got some bone oh. meal in it. There we go. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I was a little uh, startled there because I saw that opening and thought um, you were gonna have the redstone wash away, but that appears to be a slab. Yep. And down in here, this is a um, cobblestone or smooth stone generator. Uh, okay. Um, Caleb, uh, another guy on the server, put this together, and uh, I have not 
been curious enough to look down there, but, but yeah. Yeah, I have a pretty good idea of how it probably works. Um, he didn't leave access to this thing either. I don't feel thing, like digging. The thing with those is you can break them very, very easily. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to leave that alone and just let magic be magic. <laughs> yeah. Over here we can see a relic of a redstone contraption. This is one of the first things I did on my channel, and it is broken horrendously. I think I remember seeing you do this. Yeah, this was... Uh, oh yeah, I definitely remember seeing this. It's it's when I um, I knew enough redstone to be dangerous, not enough to compact it. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was watching you build it, I was like, wait, why are, why is this going this way uh -huh. I, I did enjoy your um your uh what is it ABBA uh thing here on the yeah internet. yeah that was well the the fun thing for me was just you know, figuring out hey I need this circuit and this one and this one and they all need to do this and yeah this massive contraption but um due to chunk loading and various things like that it does not work anymore Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, the lava buckets uh, deact or um, what? It, what is it? They uh, they went away a long time ago. Uh, like yeah. They they shot out while the pistons were extended, and so that shot the bucket out. And yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And so then of course they went down and got picked up by the hoppers that get the mob drops or whatever they might have i don't i don't know where they That's ended what up you had happen in your uh i think it was the third episode working on this yeah let's see well there's an egg or some eggs <laughs> nice uh those, those chickens end up everywhere they do so we'll pop one up here and this again this thing doesn't work anymore and i had high hopes of trying to make it work but meh whatever we'll come in here we've got our animal pin nether hub or nether portal and there we go there's Kondrick and here we are in the nether hub and you've problem you've seen me run around on this thing before and oh yeah <laughs> let's go around behind the scenes okay so we'll yeah, pop through this, here this massively complicated selector system yeah Caleb did a great job I've got to say now trying to get around it is is another another I ordeal like how in of he's itself got a, a golem up here to Solve the pigman problem. Yeah, we had to we had to keep putting them up here, but it's not a problem because we've got an iron farm and a pumpkin farm. Oh, I didn't show you the pumpkin farm, but that's nah, neither here nor there. So yeah, here's our um, our the selector. Ooh boy, and that's before the item frame uh, selectors. Uh huh. Very nice. So Caleb, Caleb pulled a design, or he he looked at a few online, but they were all too wide for each cell, and he wanted one that was one wide tileable. Mm -hmm. So he came up with his own, which is pretty cool, and he duplexed the thing so you can like one of the selectors will go up and one goes down. Nice. And that way, he can just. Kind of put them put them side by side. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we can pop down here and see how this works. It uses the pistons and connecting the circuits. And then I'm guessing once the cart leaves, there's a reset that uh, releases the piston. Actually, it stays intact right there, so you can keep coming to the same spot each time. And we'll go to we can go over to the return side. And you can see how that all fits together. So you this come. This is some pretty awesomely complicated stuff. I mm -hmm. like it. Yeah. Again, kudos to Caleb on that. But you you come back over here, 
Oh, and I'm hitting the roof. Well, up here we've got um, a selector. If you are a too high mob riding this thing, you'll move the the thing to the what is that the left. Otherwise, it goes off to the right. So that's how you select uh, freight or or uh, mob. Very nice. Yeah, and so we can go back down this ladder here. Just drop down, and we'll come back into the the main user interface and you can see where freight ends up so it'll end up right there and there's even overflow that's cool yeah so if, if you end up sending a bunch down they'll come over around the corner here and line up it's very, very useful nice. for going out to the mesa biome ah uh, okay that makes perfect sense then yeah because yeah, that thing is out at uh, 16,000 in the overworld Oof, yeah. 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 What is it here? He's got the coordinates. I don't... Oh, he doesn't put the coordinates there. Anyway, Mesa is... Uh, it's a long rail ride even in the nether. That's yeah, to be I sure. Yeah, imagine. All right, so we're going to select my base. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. And uh, you just come around to the player side. Jump in one of these things. All right. And you you can go on ahead and all right. And I will pop and on I behind have a you. Cart here too, or did you? Oh no, I can. He's got plenty of them backed okay. up in the system. So if you hit that button right there, I will pop on in behind you. Oh, and it it sends another one automatically. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, good. That's, that's nice. Learn something new. Oh, and each each line has a separate return line, so you don't bump into people. That's good. Well, actually, that is to my, well, not my village, but uh, the northern village. And I see you've got a villager on the, uh, in a cart there. Yeah, he went backwards, so I just left him there. 